Hey there everyone, I'm Nicholas the Squatch Hall. Welcome into the Squatch in the Highland Games episode eight. Today we are recapping the Aztec Highland Games and Celtic Fair of 2024. I had hoped to get a victory, but I didn't get the victory, but that's okay because it was still an incredible experience to say the least, especially seems it was Wifey's one year anniversary competing in the Highland Games. So without further ado, we got a lot of footage to get in. I'm gonna show you day one, which is Wifey, and then day two, which is me, and then we'll just go from there, okay? So let's hop right in. Today's wifey's day, so I usually just hang out, watch her, watch all the other classes throw. It's a good time. So, let's see how she does today. I'm guessing she's gonna do a lot better than she thinks. There you go. Happy ships, which is she won. Competition. <laughs> Texas. Another police Look up. woman. Look up. Good reverse. Well done. There you go. Keep that foot down. Nice. <laughs> Keep that foot down. Blast it. Right. Uh, yeah, the... How close is that gonna be? She got good speed going. Got that sprint. You know he's gonna be winding up from right to left, trying to get a bigger race possible. The bigger the radius. Each revolution, the further that hammer's gonna go. He's off to travel all across America. Come on. And abroad. Competing. Make a crappy ship of it. In. 51 kick. Oh. Still in though. Big arm, big chest. Keep it up. Oh, much better. Look at that. Look at that. Nice, Adam. Yeah. 
float downstream to let her retrieve from there. Yeah. And then it's when yes. the red hurdle he talked to you. Yeah. Let's go! Played in the cable for the Masters. Oh, oh, you're right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. You got it. Huh? You got to try it. Do it. Oh, have I not thrown this yet? Pull Big time. Hard. Pull hard. I did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. Oh. My Corona. Wifey kicked some butt today. She kicked some butt today. What do we say? Can't stop, won't stop. Oh my god. Say it. Can't stop, won't stop. Right through the mud, right just for wifey. Right through my bare feet. Bare feet in the mud. Adam! Yeah! Oh, it's huge. Let's see. Those ones are huge. <laughs> Let's talk about Lily for a second. I want to talk about how awesome she did and how far she's come. You know, it's only been one year, right? It's only been one year for Lily, and she's come so far as an athlete, which is kick ass. She got second place overall, but she got first place in her age group. So technically, she got a victory, and that to me is absolutely incredible. I just want to take a moment and say I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud to call you my wife and I'm proud how far you come as an athlete. So let's get into day two, which is me. Which is me. Unfortunately. Just kidding. Just kidding. I know Lily's prettier than me. So that kind of that kind of helps, but I don't know. Let's see it. Direct your body the other way. There you go. <laughs> Keep that momentum. Work with it. Up. There you go. Good. Mark. Can you twist right? Nice. 
Nice, okay, that was good. Make a move, I like it. All right, first lightweight throw. Your sunglasses? Okay. Mark. Thomas Lindsay on the table. <coughs> Thomas Lindsay. Yeah, it's like that. Right foot. No, your right foot. There you go. Okay. Oh. Mark! Woo, woo, woo! You know him, huh? <laughs> Glasses. Find that spot. Bring your All right, top of the second order. throw. Nick, it's off. Cannons on deck. Come on, Nick.
That was better. Mark. Nice. Good. Good. Do you get three? Uh -huh. Last time. Give up. My neck. Okay. Oh. All right. You got this. Oh, that's well, whenever we have the cheers here, a second attempt we are though. Nice pick. Ah. So we got this. So I'm going to be completely honest. After lunch, I hit a wall. I started feeling lightheaded. I started feeling dizzy. I started feeling sick to my stomach and I actually did end up throwing up between events. Like threw a stone, went to the bathroom, threw up, came back, finished stones. And it got to the point where I felt so sick that I had to talk to the judge and see what would happen if I didn't throw on my last event, right? What would happen if I didn't throw the caber? He told me, well, if you don't throw the caber, you have to throw the entire event. You have to be disqualified. So I said, okay, we're taking a break. I'm gonna think about it. I'll get back to you. And I paced back and forth. And I paced back and forth and I said, I'm not gonna be able to finish this. And I told wifey, I said, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish throwing today. I'm so sick, I'm definitely dehydrated, and I don't know if I'm gonna finish it. And I don't know, and the, it, was, it, was, it was a bad time. I definitely did not feel good. I'm standing there watching the other competitors throw the caber, and I sat there, and I said, fuck that. I'm gonna finish this. I came all this way to Aztec, New Mexico to throw some fucking shit and fucking kick ass. So I'm gonna finish. And I got up there and I threw that fucking caber. Sicker than, sicker than I could have ever imagined because that's what this whole sport is about. It's about finishing even when you feel like you fucking can't. Even though I didn't get a victory, I am still very proud of how much effort me and wifey put forth in this event. And I ended up getting fifth out of seven. So not terrible, I didn't get last, but I wanted to be at least in the top three. And I got sick. And I started getting anxious. And heat, anxiety, and dehydration are not a great mix, just so you know. Just so you know. I wanted to take a moment and thank everybody that put this event together the volunteers, the judges, the fellow competitors, the people that came before us, you are what make this special. With that being said, that's a wrap on the 2024 Highland Games season. We enjoyed every event that we were able to attend this year. And next year we're hoping to attend a few more. So please like, subscribe, and comment down below and get ready for the 2025 Highland Games season. We're gonna make it a smasher. We're gonna make all of 2025 a smasher. So make sure you subscribe, turn on that bell, and we'll see you guys next year. The Squatch out, baby. Goodbye. See you next year.
tune into Nicholas Vlogs. I'll still be around on the channel, just not in this series as much.